Hi, I'm Peter and I give online one-to-one -one piano and music theory lessons. In this video I'm going to show you how to find the notes on a piano keyboard and I'm also going to show you what the first five notes going up from C to G look like when they're written on a musical stave in the treble clef and the first five notes going down from middle C to F look like when they're written on a musical stave in the bass clef. The white notes on a piano keyboard are named alphabetically from A to G from left to right. So we start at the very left hand side and that note is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now when you get to G that's it you don't go any further you just simply go back to A and repeat it. B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, etc. All the way up the keyboard. Now, if you're wanting to find a note somewhere in the middle of the piano, you don't want to be starting right down at the bottom and ploughing your way through the alphabet. So what we do is use the black notes as landmarks. They're in groups of three, two, three and two. So when you sit at the piano, if you're in the middle, straight in front of you, there should be two black notes and just to their left, the white note there is C. We call that note middle C because it's roughly the middle of the piano. If you then think back two steps through the alphabet, B, A going to the left, you've now found where A is so you can go from left to right, A, B, C, D, E, F. G. Now that works anywhere on the keyboard. If you want to find a higher note, two black notes there, C just to the left, go down to A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. If you wanted to find one lower down on the keyboard, and make sure you've only got two black notes, not three, just two black notes just to the left is C down to A and work your way from A. Okay, now let's look like uh, what these notes look like on musical staves. A musical stave is a set of five lines going across the page and because the piano has so many notes we need two staves. The top one is generally for notes played with the right hand, the bottom one is generally for notes played with the left hand and on the top stave at the beginning is a clef sign. This one is a treble clef sign and on the bottom uh, stave is a bass clef sign. So let's go back find those two black notes in the middle. Just to the left of them is this note and that note is middle C. So you can see where it is on the piano just to the left of two black notes. And now you can see what it looks like when it's written on a musical stave. It's actually not on the five lines, it's just below the bottom line of the treble clef and just above the top line of the bass clef. Now let's go up in steps from middle C up to the note G. So the next note I'm going to play on the piano is D. And you see that that is written just touching the bottom line. The next note up is E, which is actually on the bottom line. The bottom line goes through the note head. The next note, F, is in between the bottom two lines in the space. And G is written just above that on the second line up. So once again, C is below the bottom line of the treble clef. It has its own little line going through the note head and we call that a ledger line. One step higher is D, just touching the bottom line, E on the bottom line, F in the bottom space and G on the second line up. Now let's look at the five notes going down from C in the bass clef. So middle C, once again, on its own little line, just above the top line of the bass clef. One down is 
B and that sits on the top line. Down from there is A and that is on the top line. The line goes through the note head. And then remember on a piano, one down from A is G. So G is in the space between the top two lines. F is on the second line down from the top. So once again, C on a ledger line, B sitting on the top line, A on the top line, G in the space between the top two lines, and F on the next to the top line. Now, I would urge you to try and learn those notes, the first five notes going from C up to G in the treble clef, and C down to F in the bass clef, before you try and learn any others. It's much better to learn a small group of notes so that you can recognise them instantly. So that if you see that note, you know it's F straight away, you know that's G, and so on. In my piano lessons, I always start off by teaching students to play tunes just using the first five notes going up and five notes going down. In the next video, I will continue and show you the, the other notes on both of those staves. And I will also talk about the black notes on the piano keyboard and how we notate those. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, Please click like if you did and subscribe and if you were interested in any online one-to-one -one lessons please visit my website and uh, I do do a free trial lesson with no obligation to continue. Thank you.